Op het politieke wereldtoneel komt Israël steeds meer alleen te staan. Steeds vaker wordt gesproken over de deling van de hoofdstad Jeruzalem. Vrede daarentegen lijkt vandaag verder weg dan ooit. Eind augustus ging een groep van christenen voor Israël naar Jeruzalem om daar onze vriendschap, onze steun en onze diepe verbondenheid te tonen aan de inwoners van Israël. Il faut aider Israël, want Israël is de democratie in het monde. En nous, on doit défendre la démocratie. C'est tout. Il faut défendre la démocratie. Tous les pays qui aiment la démocratie doivent être avec Israël. Jerusalem is a, the, the holy city of a Jewish and the Christian and the also a, a Muslims. So uh, let's keep it united and uh, behave uh, with uh, respect to, to, to this uh, holiness. How are you? If you will count the numbers of Jerusalem, how many times is written Jerusalem in the Tanakh? We shall find that 656, 656 times is written Jerusalem in the Bible. If you will open the Quran that belongs to the Muslims, you will not find even one time that is written Jerusalem. Mecca can be, but uh, not Jerusalem. Therefore, for us, as it's written in the Bible, Jerusalem, we have only one place to, to pray because every synagogue, every Jew in all over the world, the face are to Jerusalem. The face from the synagogue and the face of the people. If you will go to the mosque in Jerusalem, Al-Aqsa, to which place they are praying, you will see that the back is Jerusalem. The face are for South Saudi in Mecca. So leave our city to us because it's only one place that is holy for us. And I think it's <laughs> good to help the Jews there and to build them, 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 ממש כל הכבוד לכם, תמשיכו ותילחמו חזק, כל טוב. Except for Israelis are taking care of what's going on here and to make sure that the only democracy in the Middle East will stay in charge uh, over the holy places in Jerusalem for all the nations. Jerusalem is a holy city to three religions. We're an exceptional pilgrim city because most pilgrim cities have only one faith looking to them. But we are looked up to by Christians, Jews and Muslims. And for that reason we have to be very careful how we arrange the future of our city because one of the things that we can be very proud of is that we share our public domain in a way that it was never shared in the past. Jews can pray at the Western Wall and they never could comfortably during the British mandate and they never could under Jordanian rule. There is access for Muslims to their places of worship and all Christian communities can reach their churches and there are many of them and many different kinds. This is something, this issue of freedom of worship and freedom of access, freedom of movement, freedom of speech, a sharing of culture and a sharing of the public domain which are very, very precious. I would invite all of you to come and visit Jerusalem, to come and see how the city works as a city shared by all its populations and a city which cares about all its populations and is working on their behalf. I just want to thank them. Thank you, Holland people. To really assure peace in the Middle East, to assure peace for the uh, Jerusalem is by remaining Jerusalem as one city united forever. Because uh, being united in Jerusalem 
could bring us to the idea that people can live together. If we are dividing Jerusalem, it means that the conflicts go from here to eternity. And we would like to find ourselves in a real unification with all the people in the Middle East, Christians, Jews, Muslims, when they will understand that the ability of living together is only under one sovereignty, and one sovereignty is the sovereignty of Israel. We cannot conceive of a Jerusalem being cut into pieces and torn apart. It would be no better off than the baby in Solomon's proverb, where in order to do justice, someone actually intended to take a live baby and cut it in half. I think no example could be better than that. And anyone who really loves the city of Jerusalem would not want to see that happen. Jerusalem is our capital, is the capital of Judaism, is the capital of the world of believers. It's the capital of the whole world, but it is, first of all, the capital of the Jewish people. And we are very excited to hear that people from abroad are not even Jewish, are supporting Israel, and we're very appreciative of that. And it's always good to hear that, because it always seems like everyone's against us, and that many of the things that we do get a lot of attention worldwide, not necessarily positive. So it's, it's very moving to hear that. We are so happy that we have brothers like you because uh, we need your support, we need your help, we need your voice to say the truth to the world that Israel is innocent. Our dream is to live here for peace. We didn't come from Europe after the Holocaust to continue to fight. We want only to sit here, to serve our God, to allow every religion to serve their God for peace. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate it very much. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you.